You know, uh, I just had an opportunity to speak with, uh, with the Floyd family and a group of them, most of them. They're a close, decent, honorable family, loving one another. And once again, we had the words, heard the words, and they heard them, I can't breathe. An act of brutality so elemental, it did more than deny one more black man in America his civil rights and his human rights. It denied him of his very humanity. It denied him of his life. It's long past time that we made the promise of this nation real for all people. You know, this is no time for incendiary treats, tweets. It's no time to encourage violence. This is a national crisis. We need real leadership right now, leadership that will bring everyone to the table so we can take measures to root out systemic racism. It's time for us to take a hard look at the uncomfortable truths. It's time for us to face that deep, open wound we have in this nation. We need justice for George Floyd. We need real police reform that hold cops to a higher standard that so many of them actually meet that holds bad cops accountable, that repairs relationship between law enforcement and the community they're sworn to protect. We need to stand up as a nation with the black community, with all minority communities, and come together as one America. That's the challenge we face. Again, to George's family, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I promise you, I promise you, we can do everything in our power to see to it that justice is had in your brother, your cousin's case. God love you all, and I, uh, folks, we gotta stand up. We gotta move. We gotta change.